today. We'll start with a new show that's coming to NBC this fall, and it stars a very familiar face. Yeah. So Kristen Bell will be playing the main character of the new show called... You're in the good place. You are here because you got innocent people off death row. You are my soulmate. Cool, bring it in, man. You'll stand by my side no matter what, right? Of course I will. I wasn't a lawyer. There's been a big mistake. I'm not supposed to be here. Wait, what? <laughs> so it surrounds a woman who dies and ends up in a place where maybe she shouldn't have been. Right? Yeah, so Belle plays Eleanor Shell Strop, a woman who wasn't the kindest person in real life, but gets a second chance in the afterlife. Yeah, The Good Place is produced by the same people who brought you The Office, Parks and Rec, and you can catch this now on Wednesdays at 8.30 this fall right here on Local 4 and on NBC. Ted Danson is coming right off of, what was he, CSI, right? Yes, CSI. So he's got a new gig right away. I think this yeah. is going to be funny. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. So tonight on Local 4, the top eight singers on The Voice will once again have live performances as they compete for a shot in the finals. Metro Detroit's Laith El Sadi knows that uh, any small mistake at this point can send someone home. It can lead to a tough decision prior to the performances. We're getting really down to the wire here, and there's still so much that I want to do. And some decisions might not be quite as safe as others, but would really demonstrate a lot more versatility for myself. And then, uh, obviously, you know, picking strong songs out of what people have already kind of latched on to about me might be the safe route to go. And I think, you know, I'm kind of torn between those two. Well, I don't know. I don't think he can sing the wrong thing, Chuck. You know, he is, he's a self-admitted old soul mm -hmm. with a younger body. He's just such a cool guy, though. You can see Laith uh, tonight uh, deciding uh, what he's going to sing right here, 8 o'clock tonight on Local 4. Good luck. Good luck to him. Yeah. So, the sequel to the hit Disney movie Finding Nemo comes out later this year, and it actually has some people concerned. Well, okay, here's the deal. After Finding Nemo debuted, there was a continued decline in the wild clownfish population because a lot of people have saltwater tanks. Right. And they went to the store and said, I want a Nemo. I want one in my house, right? Mm -hmm. So, Australian scientists are concerned that the same thing could happen when Finding Dory is released this year. Right, so sales of clownfish at the time increased more than 30% when Finding Nemo was released. So there's concern that more people will want to buy the regal blue tang, which is Dory's species. What do you think about this? Wow. I, I think they should make up a fake fish. Something oh, yeah, that doesn't yeah. really <coughs> exist in nature, CGI and then everybody's gonna be fine. You just can't find? There you go, yeah. easy, done.